What is up, everyone? Thanks for popping on in. I, I, <laughs> this is the second time I've tried to do an intro here. I don't know why I feel so weird today. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. Hi, what's up? It is time for my monthly favorites and fails. I've got a mix as usual, and I'm excited to talk about them. I'll have links to everything I mentioned down below, like I always do. Side note, it doesn't look dark in the camera, I feel like, in here, but I... It's it's such a gloomy day is what I'm trying to say and so it feels really dark in this room Luckily the camera's brightening it up because it's like kind of depressing in here <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so let let's just dive in I'll stop jabbering on about this Let's start with a couple of like beauty items and then I've got some clothing some shoes, some slippers, coffee mug. You might already know what coffee mug I'm gonna talk about. A new humidifier I like. I know you're excited. I'm excited to share it with you guys. All right, so makeup wise, one that it just totally took me by surprise is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is, okay, first of all, I don't even use primers every day, so it's, I'm kind of a hard sell. Like, I feel like some primers really do make a difference, but if I only have time to put something on my face before like foundation, it's gonna be SPF. If I have the time to do like SPF, then primer, and then this, great. But I, you know, it, life gets in the way. You don't always have that time. This is a primer I actually feel like makes a difference. I specifically put it like on my nose in, I always have a hair tie on my hand. Makes me feel like I'm in middle school and I don't know how else to explain that. A hair tie on my wrist makes me think of middle school. What is that? <laughs> Anyways, this stuff really does make a difference. So like I said, I put it on my nose, I'll put it in my T-zone, in my chin, and usually just whatever's left on my fingers, I'll kind of tap in this area because that's where I notice my pores are kind of the weirdest and like makeup wears off the quickest, all of that. So I feel like this actually makes everything look a little bit smoother and it makes your makeup sit nicer on top of it. It really is kind of astounding. Like I'll use another product I'm gonna talk about in a second that I have loved for a long time and it looks so nice with it. I used this today too. So wanted to mention it cause it's not very expensive and it's one of the few primers I really feel like makes a difference. Do you guys wanna know what my fail is? I know you do. <laughs> okay, when this brand launched, it was kind of a big deal in the like nerdy beauty YouTube space that I live in. <laughs> well, the brand is Merit and this is their cheeky cheek color. Well, I think this shade is cheeky. Really cute like idea that it's like these little mini sticks. It reminds me of the Milk Makeup Sticks, but much, much smaller. <laughs> And they're still, it's still kind of a pricier brand. I like the simplicity of the packaging. I feel like that's really pretty. So I had high hopes for this and I was excited to try it. And I'm really glad I only bought one thing from the brand. I obviously haven't tried anything else, but this is not a great cream blush. I'm someone that uses a lot of different cream blushes. I love cream blush. I apply them with a brush or with my finger. Like I'm all in, I'm on that cream blush train. But this one is just a little bit drier and a little bit harder to work with it's absolutely will work and if you own it i'm you can totally make it work but i just felt very underwhelmed by this like i just felt like there's so many others that are better and even at a lower price point that i didn't feel that this was something anyone needed to have there's just better out there so one of my favorite drugstore cream blushes i have two the honest beauty cream blush is absolutely stunning that one I usually get at Target. I just bought a new one. <laughs> and then another favorite is the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blushes. Those are amazing, like truly amazing. So I would say go that route, save your money, and it's better formula than this. That was just a miss for me. And back to why I said it was kind of drier, I feel like it's harder to blend out. So I'll, I'll get it on my cheek in various different ways and it's still, I feel like it just ends up being a little bit harder to work with than most of the other cream blushes I've used. Still having Kanto stuck in my head. I'm singing one of the songs in my head right now. All right, so a rediscovered favorite, and I bought a new shade of that I think is a better shade match for me, is the Purito BB Cream. This I bought on Amazon. It's amazing. <laughs> it is so good, you guys. So I'm wearing it today. It has more coverage. When you hear BB Cream, you probably are like, oh yeah, like a tinted moisturizer. No, no. This has more coverage than you think, but it is so lightweight. It's so pretty and so easy to put on the skin, like blend into the skin. And it looks like skin. It looks like skin. Again, like this is the thing. I was trying out a new foundation that I'll be talking about in a few weeks. I was trying out a new foundation and the what I I paired the foundation with like the sunscreen and too many things were going on in my face. So it was just looking awful. And you get to that point, and I know you guys know what I mean, where you're looking in the mirror and you think, do I just start over? Do I just wipe all because this I'm trying to fix it and like patch fix and it just looks crazy. I did end up starting over. But 
what I will typically do if I'm not able to start over and I'm like, my nose looks weird, like everything's wearing weird, I will grab this or my Misha BB cream. But typically lately it's been this one and I'll just put it on my nose and blend it in and it makes everything look seamless again. And it looks like skin and it's moisturizing. Like this is an amazing, amazing product. So I had originally used the shade 23. Now I bought 21 much better shade match for my skin. So, I mean, that obviously doesn't matter to most people, but if you're anywhere near my skin tone, you might like 21. Anyway, so like I said, I bought it on Amazon. It's like 10 or 12 bucks. It is truly a next level face product. I promise if you can get a shade match and that's gonna be the hardest thing, but if you can, you will love it. <laughs> so another one that swept me off my feet this month is the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer. So this is in the brightener shade. I have not tried skin tone shades of this yet. You know what I mean? I mean, in theory, I guess this is a skin tone shade, but it's, br it's supposed to be more brightening because they also have a universal neutralizer. The line seems a lot like the Maybelline Instant Ager line because that line has a neutralizer, a brightener, and then like all the different skin tone shades. This is very similar. And it has a similar-ish doe foot, but you squeeze it instead of like twist. But as I mentioned, when I first tried this, you are going to make a mess of yourself with this. Like th this is just the messiest. It's just messy. It just is what it is. But I really, really like it. It blends in quickly. I'm wearing it today as my concealer and it just brightens and gets rid of the purpley blueness that I have going on there. But it doesn't, I don't think it like emphasizes fine lines and all of that. So I've really been enjoying this every day for a while now and I would recommend, I do, like I said, wanna try some of the other shades too to see if it's like good across the board, you know? So let me know if you've tried it, if you, what your experience has been with it. All right, this is thanks to one of you who DM'd me a while ago. I don't know why you DM'd me this. I don't know if it's because I talked about Notarium or maybe it was before that. Regardless, you recommended this Fido Glow Lip Balm. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. So you can get it at Target and I'm sure other places too. It says, apply onto lips throughout the day to nourish and hydrate, also great as an overnight lip mask. This is so good. Now they have other colors, this is clear. They have some that have a little bit of a tint. I am absolutely gonna buy one with a tint, but I love the clear one. I literally, I had to go dig it out of my purse because I've just been using it every single day. I'll just slop it on. It feels good on the lips. I haven't noticed it like drying my lips out or doing anything weird like that but it also looks good on the lips. Like it makes me feel like I've put on something more than just my normal tried and true aquaphor. You know what I mean? It looks a little better on the lips. So I've really been enjoying this. I have not used it overnight yet. I'm sure it's great that way too. I'm sure I will try it eventually, but really liked it and I had to recommend. And if you've tried one of the tinted, like the colors, let me know which one you recommend. Cause it's like, how much was this? Like 12 bucks? <sighs> I'm really liking it. It's been a while since I've found like a new lip balm that I've really, really liked. And that is, and it's from a skincare brand. So you have to assume or hope that the ingredients in it are like good for you. You know, not all skincare brands do that though. <laughs> but anyway, all right, what else, what else? So, oh, if you're just curious what's on my lips, it's this Milk Makeup Lipstick and Hype. Tyler, I was just talking to him. I was like standing at the top of the stairs and he was downstairs and he was like, I like your lipstick. It's like, Thanks. <laughs> I've had this a while actually, but I really, the color is really pretty. It's like a really nice berry. All right, moving out of makeup and stuff. I bought this on a whim at the grocery store and I am so glad I did. It's the Burt's Bees Coconut Foot Cream. You're welcome ahead of time. This stuff after like two nights will make your feet feel like a baby's bottom. And I'm not, I'm not joking y'all. I have had very dry feet. I don't know if it's like a pregnancy thing right now or just the dryness in the air. This has made such a difference and it smells like, like coconut, but it also has a slightly minty smell too. Like it's a really good mix. And I've really enjoyed smelling this like in the room at night when I've been putting it on. So I've just had it right here in my nightstand and I'll just put it on my feet. I put it all over my hands cause it's real nice and thick. I have that swatch on there too from the blush, but you can just tell, I mean, it's almost like balmy, but it really blends in. It feels real good and juicy. I will say though, if you are someone that doesn't like that feeling like Tyler, my husband hates a lot of lotions. Cause he's like, I don't want to feel like I have lotion on but he likes lotion. I mean, you know, he wants to moisturize the skin. So he tends to go for those like, you know, there's sometimes hand creams that'll like dry down to an air mat finish or whatever wording. And uh, that's what he likes. He would hate this because this is very much like ointment like, but boy, oh boy, does it smell so nice and it really, really works. So 
this is something I am so glad I discovered accidentally and I'm so like I would totally buy this again when I inevitably run out. Okay, let me talk about my new favorite slippers, okay? These Tyler got for me for my birthday back in January and I love them. I wear slippers literally all the time. I'm the person, if I'm awake, I have to have socks on or slippers on or something around the house. And especially if you have, you know, a lot of homes have some version of hard floors. And if you're standing on them a lot, like in the kitchen or whatever, if I don't have something on my feet, like with a little bit of oomph, my lower back will hurt, like it just affects me. So slippers have been my best friend for a very long time. And I'll buy all kinds of them, I'll, I'll buy cheaper ones, but you know, the reality of cheaper ones, they're cute, I love them, but they only last the way I wear them, like six to 12 months, like that is gonna be the max. So every once in a while, I like to splurge or like ask for as a gift, a really nice pair. So these are from UGG and these are just like, they're simple. I don't know the name of it, but I will have the link to these exact ones below. They have it in this color. They have like pink. They have a lot of different colors. They have just enough underneath them to feel like you're not just walking on bare floor. I really love them, you guys. I love, I just love slippers, okay? I love slippers. <laughs> so if you were wanting a really nice pair, I would totally recommend. I had a pair of UGG slippers a couple years ago and they lasted years and so I finally they bit the dust like maybe a year ago or so and ever since they bit the dust I was like dang I want another pair because they do last a few years so wanted to mention because these are like every morning I slip them on and it makes me like like I just love them so thank you Tyler I know you're not watching but thank you for my birthday gift <laughs> this lounge set if you saw my Target haul recently I bought this set and it's the coziest comfiest thing and I keep thinking about buying another one another set and I'm like no Jessica no 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 so I'm not <laughs> yet <laughs> but they have this beautiful like salmon color they also have like an ivory white and then they have a gray the gray is what I'm leaning towards. So even though I'm pregnant right now, this is not a maternity set. This is just a regular set. It runs a little bit big, so you can probably just get your normal size and be happy with like it being loose and comfy. But I sized up just being pregnant, but also knowing that like postpartum, I think I'll be comfier in this too. And the one thing, and this, a lot of you guys said the same thing when I brought this up in the Target video. There's something about a matching lounge set that makes you feel like even though you're kind of bumming around the house that day and you're really not out of your pajamas in theory, you know, you feel like you're still kind of ready for the day. And like, if you had to answer the door for a package or whatever, you don't feel like you're in like a ratty shirt that I would normally wear and like pajama pants, you know? So this is my first matching set I've ever bought. Won't be the last. And it is so, 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 so comfy. It is, I do think from Target standards, kind of pricey because you have to buy each of them separate. You know what I mean? It'd be nice if they offered it in a set and it was like a little bit cheaper because I do think once you buy both of them, it is kind of pricey, but it feels really well made. I've washed it quite a few times and it's still looking brand new and it is just one of the most comfortable things. And speaking of my husband, he the other day was like, those are really cute. And I was like, not my mind. Thank you. Okay, this is such random. All right, these boots, okay? These are from the brand Sperry. This is the best investment I think I've ever made in a shoe, ever. Let me tell you why. I'm trying to remember where I bought these, first of all. I think I bought them on Amazon. It was a while ago, but th I'm like, this is a common pair. You'll be able to find them, and I guess I'll link them. I loved that they were black, so I wear leggings oh so often as I know a lot of us do. So a black pair in the fall, winter, and spring is kind of perfect because if you're wearing them for snow or wearing them for rain, they're perfect. I loved that it's got this totally waterproof boot to it there on the bottom, but then this beautiful like quilted pattern. I love the Sperry on the back. It's still got zippers on, well, on one side, so you can still slip them on. I don't even need to undo that typically. And then it's got this tie that doesn't really tie. I mean, you can kind of tie it together if you want. You guys, these are lightweight. They are comfortable. Like they're, I have not had a break-in period with these and I've had them for months. I haven't noticed they like pull my socks down if I'm wearing just like normal ankle socks. And then of course you can wear higher socks with them too. They are the perfect rain and snow boot because that was the thing i struggled with i live in the midwest we get all four seasons boy do we ever <laughs> and if you're someone that deals with that it can be really like weird to be like okay so i guess i need like snow boots and then i need rain boots but i only wear rain boots a few times a year so that's kind of a waste and then you want to make sure it like matches enough outfits this literally solved all of those problems just in this one boot it is probably the my favorite pair of shoes i own I just love them and I can't believe I haven't really talked about them much because these are truly 
next level. Now, I have these in white as well. <laughs> and I kind of regret getting the white for two reasons. One, it doesn't actually look good the way I thought it would with like jeans and stuff. I'm like, oh, the, the like ivory white will look really cute with jeans and like cute socks. They really don't. They kind of stand out as like too bright against it. And so it doesn't quite look the way I wanted it to. Furthermore, it got stains all over it from I was wearing some kind of jeans. And so that blue dye got all over it and I cannot get it out. And I'm so freaking bummed about it. That was actually the first pair I bought. So I fell in love with the shoes themselves. Anyway, that's why I eventually broke down and bought these and I should have gone with black in the first place. So if you're kind of thinking between, just really think about it, heed my advice. <laughs> these are amazing. Okay, it's enough about that. So I have a new humidifier. I told you guys I was trying a new one and that I would like let you know if it's actually worth it. So if you followed my humidifier journey, I am someone that in the winter, you run your heat in your house typically and it's just dry air. And so I learned about a decade ago, I would get really bad sinus problems in the winter and I didn't really know why. Turns out it was because it was just such dry air that I was breathing in. The second I started using a humidifier, problems solved. So I've been using them ever since in the winter time. And then of course, like if we're sick or something, makes a huge difference. But a couple things to know about humidifiers is one, you have to keep them clean period, because they can grow mold, they can grow bacteria. I mean, there's a lot that can go wrong. And some are better than others with that. Some have filters, some don't like, so there's that piece of it. But also you want to be using like clean water and etc. I have tried so freaking many humidifiers in my life. This is <laughs> one of the best ones I've ever tried. I mean, I guess it's the best one because all the other ones I've tried have like ended up breaking or pooping out on me. I don't know. We'll see how long this one lasts. This one's a pricier one, but I bought a pricier one at, uh, I almost said Sam's Club, Costco a couple months ago. A lot of you guys saw that and it was amazing. Like it could do the cool mist and the warm mist, all that stuff. Well, mine broke after like two weeks. I contacted the company, by the way, a little update on this. I contacted that company and they didn't get back to me for like mm, eight weeks. By then I'd already returned it to Costco, but basically the heat setting didn't work and it warped a piece on the inside. So we, I bought two of those. One of them is still in my daughter's room. This is such a long story time about a humidifier. Oh my God. Anyway, the other one still works. It's great. It's in my daughter's room, but this one is amazing. Let me tell you what it is. It's from the brand Lavoit. I hope I'm saying that right. They did send this to me. What's funny, and this isn't sponsored. They're not like paying me for this video or anything like that. What's funny is that this is one that I looked at. I don't remember if it was exactly this model or not in the past. And it was very highly rated and highly reviewed. And so it might not have been this. This is a newer, might've been an older model, but the same idea and it was super highly reviewed. So the fact that when they like reach out to send it to me, I'm like humidifier PR, yes please. <laughs> I'd much rather that. So uh, this one hooks up to an app that's super easy to use so I can turn it on and off. I can change the humidity level I want. It also connects to your Echo or I think even maybe Google Home. I don't know, I, I, I'm i too like focused on the fact I use Alexa so I'm trying to say it quietly so she doesn't turn on. Anyway, so I can turn this on and off with that, which is amazing. Cause like once I'm in bed, I'm like, dang it, I forgot to turn the humidifier on. It's so nice to be able to just tell her to do it and she does it and it turns on, amazing. So I like to, it's got like a sleep mode. So like I, I get bothered by any light when I'm sleeping, that'll turn the screen off while it's running. You can have it on for a certain amount of time. It has the cool and warm setting. Like it's just so easy. It's easy to refill because you can pull out this top part and boom, there you go. It truly is an amazing humidifier and it can do so much. And I like that I only have to fill it every couple days. Like it actually lasts. Whereas a lot of other ones I've had, I have to fill it every single night. And that is so annoying. <laughs> so I'll have this exact one I have linked below. They make a bunch of different humidifiers. Like if you want one smaller or just different, but I'm really, I've really been enjoying it. My husband really likes it too. Oh, the coffee mug. You already knew <laughs> this one from freaking Target, man. It's $12.99. The idea, first of all, it's just so cute. The tortoiseshell, I know I keep talking about it. I promise I'll stop talking about it, but it's so cute. But it's got a lid so you can travel in the car with it. Fits perfectly in a cup, like any cup holder we have. I did have that question. But what is amazing is it's smaller. Like most travel coffee mugs are about like this tall. This is like two thirds that size maybe, you know what I mean? And it's perfect for like a single cup of coffee and then some. That's great because for me, I don't really need like a full travel mug because usually I'm drinking my first cup at home. And then if I'm going out and about, I might have my second cup in here. I love it. They also, I've learned, have this in like a white marble looking one and then like a matte black. They are all really 
really pretty, you guys. And $12.99, I feel like, is a really good price for this. So wanted to mention it again in case you've missed the other times I've talked about it because it is truly truly a favorite of mine this month undoubtedly all right so kind of going into other stuff that aren't tangible what else did i write in my note the book i just finished is called the four winds by uh oh who's <laughs> by <laughs> well anyway i'll pop a picture of the the book cover itself there okay it took me a little bit to get into it but it's basically and this is going to sound real boring real fast i promise but stay with me it's about the dust bowl and also the great depression like all that was going on in that time and like the early 30s and it's so crazy because I'd heard of the Dust Bowl and I kind of understood what was going on and of course I know about the Great Depression but it's very specific events that were going on that I did not know happened like it was just such an interesting period of history that I didn't know anything about so it's kind of fun learning about that but it's a novel so it's the fi family dynamics and things that go on and holy moly the ending so I really liked it I, mean, I rated it, I rate my books, you know, on five stars on my like Goodreads account. And I rated this one four stars. I'm trying to be more stringent about what I give five stars because my friends make fun of me because they say I'm too, I'm too easy on books. Like I rate everything like a million stars. So I'm trying to be better about the ones that I rate five stars have to be like mind blowingly good. But this was very good. So if it's at four stars, my new rating system, if it's at four stars, it's still really good and I would recommend it. And that's kind of where I would pigeonhole this. And it's historical fiction, which is my favorite genre. So of course I liked it. It was just a good read and it was different than anything else I've read. So wanted to bring it up here because I literally finished it just the other day, but pretty good. So I think that's everything. I, you know, I could chat on and on about all kinds of stuff. But if you want to see my favorites and fails from last month, I had a lot for January. I had a lot of like kitchen items in that and like some kitchen organization things. For example, oh my gosh, one of my favorite things still is the organizers for our foil and like clear plastic wrap and stuff. That is still a favorite. So go check that video out if you want to see more about that and those kinds of things. Oh, and in that one, I also talk about some of my favorite jewelry I've recently bought that I'm loving. So definitely check that video out too. I can link below my January favorites if you want to see some more of mine just from four weeks ago. And I think that is all. Can you hear a sweet Pinocchio boy snoring? He sometimes, it's a beagle. He will, his cage is over there. And you know, when he was a puppy, we like crate trained him and stuff. And he just loves his cage. So he will just in the middle of the day, he's got his comfy bed in there. He will just wander in there and, and take a nap in there. Then he'll hop on our bed and take his second nap up there. Take his third nap on the floor in a sun patch. Like, but he genuinely loves his cage and it's so cute. And so right now we couldn't find him. And I'm like, sure enough, he was just in his cage taking his mid, mid afternoon slumber. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe if this is your first video of mine or maybe you've watched a couple and you've been thinking about subscribing. I would love to have you join us. Let me know if this is your first video of mine you're seeing. I would love to know because I feel like this is a kind of video that doesn't necessarily pull in new viewers because if you're wanting to know my favorites, you probably have already seen other, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, all right, I will let you guys go, bye. <laughs>